Hi, I'm meteorologist Luke Britton here with my counterpart, Chris Millard. Yes, and we're about three kilometers above sea level. So that means we're in the troposphere. The troposphere is from zero to 12 kilometers above sea level. So if you're in this level, you should bring your coats and umbrellas. <laughs> where most of the Earth's weather occurs, and also it gets very cold up here. Yes, it gets down to about minus 60 degrees Celsius. Also, as you head up farther into the atmosphere, it becomes less dense and harder to breathe. Good thing we're not a spaceship. Yeah, look, there is someone now. Good thing we're not him. Definitely. Also, the troposphere is where most of the atmosphere's mass is. We'll be back right after these messages about more atmosphere facts. Welcome back to Atmosphere Facts with Luke Britton and Chris Moore. We are flying about 17 kilometers above sea level. So that means we're in the stratosphere, right Chris? Yes, we are in the stratosphere. The stratosphere is from 13 to 50 kilometers. You'll find that in the lower part of the stratosphere, most commercial airlines fly. Air. Also, the stratosphere's temperatures are about the same as the troposphere. In the higher part of the stratosphere, you'll find the ozone layer. The ozone layer protects us from the harmful sun rays and keeps us warm. Okay, we're going to go to the commercial break. Stay tuned for more facts about the atmosphere. Ah, more Pepsi! We're back to atmosphere facts. Once again, I'm Luke Britton. And I'm Chris Moore. Yeah, Chris, we know that. But anyway, we're 67 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The mesosphere goes from 50 to 80 kilometers above Earth's surface. Also, the air gets very thin. Oh, gosh, did it get cold in here? I think it did, but... Is the mesosphere supposed to be this cold? It is supposed to be cold because it goes from negative 60 degrees Celsius to negative 90 degrees Celsius. Also, the prefix meso means middle, and that means the mesosphere is the middle layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Also, in the mesosphere, meteors burn up. Look out! Well, anyway, we'll be flying higher into the atmosphere. Okay, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned for more atmosphere facts. And we're back for the final segment of today's broadcast, the thermosphere. The thermosphere consists of two sublayers, the ionosphere and the exosphere. Well, first let's talk about the thermosphere. The thermosphere extends from 80 kilometers and above. It has no definite ending. It's so hot in here that it's making me angry. I know. That's because the thermosphere is the hottest layer of the atmosphere. It can get up to 1,800 degrees Celsius sometimes. The lower part of the thermosphere is called the ionosphere. The ionosphere extends from 80 to 550 kil kilometers. Also, there are little things called ions, which are particles there. Whoa, is that an ion? I don't know. I think so. There's more. Oh, my gosh. Well, anyway, the, also the aurora borealis, or northern lights, is located here. As we go higher in the thermosphere, we will find the exosphere. The exosphere gradually blends into outer space. Wait, look, I see a satellite. Satellites are usually found in the exosphere. Well, that looks like all the time we have for today. I hope you like this broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow at 11. Good night, Mrs. Newton class.